All right, hello and good morning everyone from beautiful Portland, Oregon. This is one of the many parks around here. It's so pretty, I love the trees and it's so green. Uh, today is also a very Portland-like day. It's cloudy and wet and cold. And talking about those things, another place that was uh, cloudy and wet and cold was the coast. I was there a few days ago, you might remember from my last video. Uh, just after I stopped talking there, it started raining, I got very windy, so I couldn't uh, get a lot of footage and I couldn't talk a lot about the images that I made there. I still want to do it, I want to talk about some of the images. So I put together everything I had, it's just a few clips and a few images. It's uh, going to be a very, very short clip that I'm going to play now and then we are going to talk about one, some of those uh, images that I made the other day. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you the images on my phone. I'm gonna try to record the, the screen of my phone. I've tried uh, a couple times already here, so I've gone through these images already a couple times, and I don't know why it stops recording my screen after a little while. So I'm gonna have to do it image by image or something like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna open a Lightroom here, and let me do it in landscape. So I'm gonna go really quick to the first composition as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, test shots here. I was trying to find out uh, which composition worked the best. I was trying to split the frame here in the, in the middle uh, with... Uh, I, by the way, I have a video about composing in Square that I published a few months ago. You might want to check that out, that one out, because I talk about these different uh, composition uh, techniques that I use when I shoot a Square. You can check it out somewhere around there. But here I was trying the... the splitting the frame in two with the horizon line in the middle. It didn't really work as well because of, uh, I wanted to show a little bit more of the foam, the diagonal line that the foam was creating there. So I was placing the rock on the top and that's when I went for the long exposures. This one uh, was the one that I, I chose. I really like the, the, the foam, uh, the, the line that is uh, leading kind of to the haystack rock in the, in the background. I tried more uh, long exposures there. This one didn't work as well and also I have people here, so yeah, and this one, the tripod moved because I waved game, so yeah, it didn't work as well. I'm gonna stop the recording, I'm gonna start recording again. This is very annoying because I, I talked for like 20 minutes here to the camera and I, the, the phone was not recording the screen. So, it wasn't recording the screen again, so uh, this one. Someone placed this uh, log here on the beach and I thought that it looked kind of cool, but as you can see, the, the sand uh, is, uh, was very busy and noisy, full of footprints and little rocks and sticks. So I tried to uh, simplify that, avoiding uh, capturing the, the ground. But as you can see, these two compositions don't work as well, so I might have to embrace the, the ground here or just discard this uh, photo uh, completely. This one uh, was another... Uh, uh, composition this one is uh, very simple as I as I mentioned earlier it's just splitting the the, the frame in two using the horizon line there and uh, it works because it has symmetry to it uh, the the rock uh, is uh, reflected on the on the water so I think this one works pretty well and it's very simple and uh, straightforward 
All right, so here, I heard uh, the birds uh, going crazy in the rock, uh, so I just uh, went there and took a bunch of pictures. When you have a moving subject or moving object like this that you can't predict, uh, you just have to take a bunch of pictures and hoping that one is gonna work. I was uh, working with the rock, trying to find a, a good composition, and I think I like this one the most because of the triangular shape there, kind of center in the frame and the birds just doing their thing. But yeah, not crazy about this one either, but uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the one I like the most. Okay, this is very annoying that I have to stop recording the screen every single time, but anyway, it's making me going faster too, so that's a good thing. Okay, this one, this is another moving uh, thing in the frame, in this case was the, the waves. So I took a bunch of pictures trying different uh, compositions, like as you can see here on the top left of the frame. And I came up with this one, or uh, this one was the, the one that I liked the most because of the shape of the waves, that is kind of triangular too. And you can still get, you still get a little bit of uh, the reflection of the rock here on the, on the ground. This is an example when the, the composition comes to you almost uh, afterwards because uh, I wasn't expecting the waves to make that shape. After a while, I saw that they were doing that shape very often. But once I, but the first, at first, when I was trying to, when I was uh, taking these shots, I didn't know that. So, alrighty. So uh, I saw this uh, watching tower or whatever. It wasn't there two years ago, so this is a new thing. I tried a bunch of uh, compositions, but they didn't work. For uh, as you can see here, let me try to do this. I hope this doesn't break the screen recording I can't tell anyway as you can see the rocks are uh, behind the tower and it creates a very busy uh, composition there I don't like when uh, things overlap try to avoid that as much as you can so I was trying I was uh, trying different I was uh, looking for different angles I was including these uh, logs too in the foreground but it was very busy so I, I, I tried to go uh, lower and lower and trying to focus on just one log uh, like this one in this case and I came up with this composition this was the final one and I really like this one how the log points towards the the tower and then you have the the haystack rock on the on the right I I really like this one all right took more of the tower but none of them I didn't like any of them and then I started playing with some of the paddles in the in the sand uh, like this one, I love the contrast between the paddle and the, the rock, the da very dark rock in the background. More shots of the rock, trying a lot of different compositions. Uh, I don't like any of them too much. Uh, this one was a little bit better, but I don't know. Maybe a long exposure uh, would have been better here. But as I said, it was very windy, so I'm kind of raining. So the long exposures were not an option at this point. And yeah i found these chairs uh, they were kind of far away so i but i saw them and i knew i had to capture them somehow let me stop the screen real quick the screen was not recording again i don't know anyone knows why this happens i don't know if it's because you can't record for a long time or i don't know but let me start again with this so uh, these uh, chairs i saw these chairs uh, from very far away and i knew i had to capture them so i went there my favorite composition of the bunch is uh, this one but i might have to work on it because the the, the i don't know the name of this the little fence uh, the little thingy to protect you from the wind windshield wind fence whatever uh, it's very dark so i might have try i might i might try to recover some of the that the texture back because this is a composition that i like a lot you can clearly see the chairs there the contrast between the white chairs and the black umbrella and rock i like that a lot i like this one too because you can actually see the texture of the i'm gonna call it wind fence okay uh, the one that i don't like about this one is the uh, chair that is sticking out here it's very confusing you can't even tell that it's a chair so i might have to work on that one too in post to try to remove that uh, let me check the screen again okay it's recording i'm gonna stop it this other composition where is it where is it Oh, this one is uh, the one that made it to the video, but uh, yeah, you, I don't know, I like it. I like the contrast between the white chair and the fence. The fence is very clear here. You can uh, clearly see it, but you can't see a lot of the chairs. So I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna have to work on the other two because they are better compositions in my opinion. I have a bunch more uh, like this and this, but yeah, I think that the other one, huh. This one could work too. Uh, 
Actually, this is a better composition now that I think about it. I might just have to work a little bit on the sand because it's very busy here. Uh, but yeah, I, I like this. So yeah, this uh, is going to require much more, more work. When I publish these videos, I just uh, uh, edit the images really quick, just uh, a first, uh, you know, a first approach to them. But I always work on them uh, more after I publish the videos. And uh, the final version is the one that makes it to the website, as I mentioned in some of my videos before. So this is a composition that I liked and I saw when I was already leaving. Uh, let me show you in the screenshot here. Uh, the one that I like. The thing that I like about this one is that you kind of I think it works that way. Uh, you follow that natural line that the, the, this creek or stream was creating there towards the rock, so that was cool. And the last composition I wanted to show you today is one that I, I took. I made the, uh, a very similar image with my Holga a year ago. I wanted to, to recreate it with my digital camera. This is what I came up with. I think it's uh, very cool. The only thing that I don't like about this image, it even has a bird there so that was cool a seagull uh, the only thing that i don't like is the overlapping between the light and the rocks there in the foreground but it's not too bad i i still like this image a lot i try different compositions oh by the way i had to remove a couple people there as you can see it was a busy place at that time and yeah that was uh, these images are from uh, the next video that is coming soon so yeah this is uh, pretty much all i had to show you today i hope you guys enjoyed the little short clip that I showed you earlier and I hope you enjoyed me talking about my images why I made them how I made them or my choices in composition if you have any uh, questions if you have any suggestions or you, you want to just say anything about them uh, leave a comment down below uh, otherwise thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one I buy a cigarette off you okay. uh, no I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs>